Wow. Did you ever have any feelings for me, Blair? Or was it all just a setup right from the beginning? I think I deserve an answer. You are getting exactly what you deserve, Spencer. Because I sure thought what we had was real. I sure did. I guess I should have known better, huh? The thing is, I didn't lie about loving you. And I would do everything that I did all over again. I am not sorry for what I did in order to be with you. You understand? That's so sweet, Spencer. Because you know, love means never having to say you're sorry. Isn't that right, Claire? What are you doing here, huh? Well, you know, I'm just feeling better to Spencer because he saved my life. And so I want to know if there's anything I can do to help you out. You could drop dead. <laughs> I already did. And you brought me back. Okay, you know what? The game is over, It's never Spencer. been a game to me, Blair. Never been a game. That's the difference between me and Psycho Boy. You see, I still care about you. No matter what you did to me, I will always care oh, about you. Oh, I think you need to look a little closer into my eyes here, and you'll see that I don't care about you. In fact, I despise you. Well, what I see when I look in your eyes is fear. You know he's going to make your life miserable. You've got to give him credit. He just doesn't give up. Even at the end here, he still thinks I'm the bad guy. You are the bad guy, Todd. And Blair knows it. That's why it was so easy to turn her against you in the first place. I should really thank you, Manny, for being such a bad guy, because otherwise Blair would have never known what it's like to be loved by a real man. He's just trying to take you off, Tom. Well, he does have a point. I'm not exactly a model citizen. <laughs> never will be. <laughs> but you know, though, Blair is no angel either. That's why you're attracted to him. I have a very rich history with Todd. It's full of scandal, and that's why I think half the people in this town think that we deserve each other because we're both so screwed up. What happens there? Mm. Thank you for that little insight into what your life together has been like. I can hardly wait to get out of here to see how things have progressed. It's not going to happen, is it? These charges, the murder charge, everything will be dropped, Manning. Mm. It's a pretty long list, though, Spencer. I'm certain there are lots of other crimes. Circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial, like the gun that the gun. killed John. The gun. You know, even if they could prove father, that, that was my gun, they cannot put it in my hand all those years ago. But I'm not going to discuss the fine points of my defense <laughs> with you people. What I do want to talk about is the party we're going to have when I get out of here. But you know, you're never going to get out of here, right? You're going to die. You see that? Look, look, look. See this face? It's just terrifying. It's great. I tell you though, if you do manage to weasel yourself out of here, I'm gonna wait on the outside. I'm kill you myself. Did you hear that, Blair? The man you profess to love just threatened to kill me. What a guy! Huh? And you wonder why she left you? Ran off to me, thinking that you were capable of killing Margaret and your very own son. On your BS. I didn't boy. steal Blair away from you, Todd. You drove her away, man, yourself. Todd, just you don't. You know, the thing is, is that don't. you're never going to be able to forgive her either. You're so full of venom, you know that? I'm not even convinced that you didn't kill your own son. Where is he, Trina? Why don't you tell me where he is? Why don't you be decent? Just one moment in your life and tell Todd where his son is. And what would be in it for me? Hmm? Nobody even told me I had a son. Lucky for him. That's how come he turned out so decent. You know, Manning, if your son never knows you, he just might stand a chance at being a decent human being as well. But it doesn't matter because you're never going to find him, even if he is still alive. So help me, Truman. If you hurt him... Oh, trust me, I didn't harm one hair on his cute little bald head. Margaret, on the other hand, <laughs> I mean, okay, you know what? She's Stop. capable well, of just about anything. Here. Why did you come here? Because I wanted Spencer to hear three little words. What in hell? I don't know what I like better, watching her coming or going. <laughs> oh, she's very pretty. All right, I'm kidding. 
It's just me and you now. Why did you come here? You have something to say to me? Say it. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to have to finish our little chat later. We'll finish it for sure. I just want you to know that I'm, I'm really going to look forward to seeing you die. Hey Spencer, do you think, do you think that it's in poor taste to bring popcorn and execution? I'll think about it. Have a good night.